On the bench today, we're going to take a look at some AC relays that can work with the uh, ring doorbell. Let's get a better angle on this and uh, see if we can improve our shot a little bit. Here we have the uh, Ring Pro 2 doorbell that I was using for a while here at the new house. This one is uh, unlike the original Ring doorbell. It has a uh, pair of terminals and it can be powered by the uh, regular doorbell transformer. And this was just the builder grade one that was previously installed here uh, in the new construction. But uh, it isn't enough to power a Ring Pro. And I like some of the features of the Ring Pro, particularly its motion detection. Although this has uh, something called high dynamic range, which is very nice uh, in the Ring Doorbell 2. Uh, so it's kind of a trade-off there as to which one to go with. And uh, anyway, what I wanted to talk about was try to select a relay that would work with just the 16-volt uh, AC transformer that typically comes, you know, 10 watts that typically comes with the installation in your home rather than having to uh, install a big, uh, one of these big, you know, 24 volt uh, transformers, uh, 40 VA and all of that. Uh, if you're just going to go with, a, say, a Ring, two, Ring Doorbell 2 rather than a Ring Pro. So which relays will even work to connect your door chime, doorbell, to an electronic chime. That's the purpose of this. That this relay is going to isolate the AC signal coming, ring signal from the ring doorbell, and allow it to connect to your uh, electronic door chime, such as a Newtone intercom or m and chime, uh, chime board in an m and intercom, that sort of thing. And we'll take a look at a diagram. So here you have a little diagram of what is currently uh, wired up. We have our Ring 2 doorbell with its two terminals on the back. That is right here with its connections. We have our AC mains transformer right here with its 16 volt output right here. And then we have our mains wires right here for the AC input. We have a relay right here with its coil connections. Not getting a good uh, shot of that. Here we go. With its coil connections right here. And with its contact connections right here on each side. And that's right here. If you're having trouble figuring out the contact connections on your relay, take a look at my other video about relay connections. And then finally, we have an electronic door chime, such as our Newtone intercom or uh, M&S chime board, things like that. So we have our AC power coming in, providing 16 volts out through the transformer. One connection goes to one of the terminals on the back of the ring. Another connection from the transformer goes to the AC relay, one of the connections on that coil. The other connection on this coil goes to the other terminal on the back of the ring. It doesn't matter which of the two terminals you pick here, and it doesn't matter here. These are AC. They are not uh, polarized. Finally, the last two connections on the relay are the contacts, the normally open contacts. That is, when the relay is not energized, this connection is open. And those two connect out to your electronic chime, providing electrical isolation between your electronic chime trigger connections and the AC powering this circuit. Again, if you have questions about the relay, go see the video about relay connections. Now, to test this out, I've got a nice uh, BK Precision 9801 AC power supply here, and that provides AC voltage up to 300 volts AC, or, yeah, I think up to 300 volts, up to uh, 300 VA. And the nice thing is that I can dial in any voltage I want. I can set it to 24, and we get 24 out, or just 16. And say your uh, transformer was a little weak, we can set it to 14.5, and we can test the relays at that. The nice thing is this is isolated AC output, so it's, it's safe from uh, mains electric shock. So... Uh, that's different than uh, a lot of things. It's more like using a uh, regular transformer. Um, it's the same 
That's the same as using like a regular transformer, except that this is very controllable. I can control the amount of current and voltage. So we have a selection of relays here, and I'll go over each of these as we do this. Uh, first one here is, I can't even tell what this says. Here we go. X000NM, uh, whatever. It's a uh, basic 24 volt AC uh, Chinese relay. Uh, that's it. And we're going to hook up our AC power to this one. And we're going to hook up the meter, which is set to uh, beep if we get continuity. And the light should flash. All right. Did that. Hopefully, that came through on the uh, microphone. Now, let's just check this out and see how this goes. We're currently set to 16 volts. Let's see if this works. No, in fact, the, uh, let's see if I can hold that up here. And it is just vibrating. So that's not very good. So that means it's certainly not going to work at 14 volts. 14 volts, nope. 16.5 volts. There we go, oh, <laughs> yeah. 17. There we go. 17 volts. Uh, this one works uh, just fine at 17 volts. Not bad, I guess, um, for a 24 volt relay. Let's see if we can find something that works a little more reliably at 16 volts. All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. Uh, let's see if there's a little. Ch there's a little bit of a stutter in there, but if your transformer is a little weak, uh, 15 volts, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, no. 15 and a half, no. Oh. 15.7, it just uh, chatters. So this needs a solid 16 volts to work at all, and it really needs probably, there we go, 16 and a half not to chatter. So that's better. At, at least that works at uh, what we can reasonably expect a transformer to put out. A third 16 volt relay. Let's set it to straight 16. Oh, and she works just fine. Let's try 15. Huh, just fine. 14, not quite. It makes a little bit of a sound, clicking sound, but the contacts don't close. And at 14 and a half volts, it is quite reliable. So I'm going to say that on the your selection of these is going to be kind of hit and miss. This one, I'm going to have a hard time getting this zoomed to where this is readable. That says P E O T R J O X 13 F blah blah. There's probably a bunch of these that are different. This one has a completely different part number on the side. Oh, come on, focus. And it has a completely different part number on the side. And I couldn't quite find it again because when I went back to my orders on Amazon, the picture looked different. So if you're ordering these from AliExpress, even Amazon, uh, what you get from one order to the next may vary a little bit. So not all these relays that I'm finding are going to have quite the same characteristics. I'm not sure if there's anything particularly uh, visually different about this. Uh, this one does not have an LED in it the way a lot of these other ones do. So if you want one that definitely works. Um, try one of the ones that doesn't have that indicate relay indicator on it. However, it does look remarkably like this one right here, this UXL A14071 800UX02975 35mm DIN rail mount DPDT8P um, general purpose power relay. 
How you're going to guarantee that you get s the same one, I don't know. But this one does, is the one that does not have the LED indicator on it. So that DIN rail tab on mine is in orange. However, in the listing here, uh, it is shown as blue. So again, mixed bag, even from regular suppliers like uh, UXL, who I've had no problem with their products. They've always come through on time, delivered on time, uh, without any issues. And the products have worked as advertised, and in this case, it works much better. Okay, here we have uh, the uh, ring set up with the same wiring as a moment ago. However, uh, we're now powering it off of a 10-watt uh, mains transformer, uh, builder grade, literally, as this was installed in the wall in this house. And I've since uh, replaced that with a uh, centrally powered uh, 40VA 24-volt transformer for my uh, Ring Pro that I've installed. We're gonna, we've got our AC uh, disconnect here. And power up our transformer. We're going to take a quick look at the uh, power coming out of that. So let's do that. We're getting 19.1 volts. That's um, quite reasonable. Uh, it doesn't surprise me too much uh, that, that that happens because this uh, transformer is not under any load. But, and it will come under load, but again, we noticed before there was only 30 milliamps or so, and with a higher voltage, it will be a little bit higher load uh, through this relay. But um, anyway, let's see if it works. Yep. Sure enough, uh, a common cheap 16 volt builder grade tra AC transformer absolutely can trigger a 24 volt uh, relay, AC relay, uh, assuming you get the right one. In fact, let's try one of the crappy. Which one was it that had the worst? So uh, this relay uh, was the one with the worst performance, the one with the green wires attached to it. And it has, of course, one of those red LED indicators here on the top. And contact. Oh, okay. So even the uh, worst relay still worked just fine. The worst 24-volt relay of our set of three worked fine on a builder's grade 10 watt transformer. So if that's what you have available, you should be able to connect to a, and isolate an electronic door chimes input using a 24 volt AC relay, even if you only have what is called commonly called a 16 volt uh, 10 watt AC transformer. And I hope that uh, was able to help someone get through another project. Good luck and let me know how it all works out for you.